Hey guys, so today I have a review on the modded Shang Shao 6x6. I modded this cube over the weekend, and it's turned out really, really good, I think. But as you may notice, this is a different type of review than you're used to. I'm actually doing a solve, so you can see the way it turns during an actual solve of this cube. So let me know in the comment section whether or not you like this type of review more, or whether or not you like the review where I actually show like the cube's corner cutting and stuff, but I think that it's a little bit more important to see the actual turning of the cube during a saw than, the, than just to see me doing a bunch of, you know, finger tricks and stuff. So I decided to try it out this way, but if people don't like it, I will more than likely change it back to the other way. But, or I'll just do a mix of both this kind of review and the other review. But this cube took two hours to mod, and I did it over the weekend, and it was pretty, it was not too hard to mod, it just took a while because there were so many pieces, but the putting back together of this cube, like the assembly of it, was awful. It took me so long. I hated the assembly of this puzzle, so chances are this cube is not coming back apart anytime soon. But, the turning of this cube has definitely improved a lot. At first, I really hated solving this cube because the turning was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty awful. And I just really didn't enjoy solving a puzzle that didn't turn very well. But, so, that resulted in me probably solving this cube three times before I modded it, but after I modded it, I think I've solved this cube about 20 times in the past two days. So I definitely enjoy it a lot more. The turning of this cube is a crispy yet smooth, which I kind of like. I bet if you put, if I put lube in this cube, it would make it smoother. However, I did not lube this puzzle because I did not think it, need it needed it after I put it all together. The core is still lubed from before I modded it because you don't do anything to the core when you mod it. So the core still is lubing it, which I recommend doing, lubing the core when the puzzle's apart when you're about to mod it. But the pieces have absolutely no lube on it. Actually, I might be lying, it probably has a, a tiny, tiny bit of lube in it, but really nothing compared to some of the other cubes I have. And even without the lube in it, it still turns like absolutely amazing. So some people may want may not want to hear this, but I definitely think that you should mod this cube if you have it. A lot of people get this cube because the, either the V cube is too expensive or the V cube has to be modded. So it may be kind of upsetting for some of you to hear that you actually should probably mod this, but I highly, highly recommend modding this cube. I think it brings this cube to its fullest potential. And if I didn't already mention this, it has Diane Springs in it. Convinsa told me that I should put them in, and I did, and it improved a lot, but that was even before I modded it. But the combination of the Diane Springs with the mod is amazing. I absolutely love this cube. It's the tensions are pretty tight on this cube, yet it still turns amazing. So as far as pops on this cube, there really isn't many. You will see one in one or two seconds of this cube popping right there. And those are the only types of pops it has. That Those are the types of lockup slash pops it has. So, But they're really not that bad of pops, and they're pretty easy to put back in. So this cube corner cuts better than before. The mod definitely helped with that, the Florian, Florian mod, when you round off the pieces, definitely helped with that. So overall, this cube is way better with the mod, and I highly recommend modding it. Just be careful not to undermod or overmod. So these are the stickers. I just thought I'd show them off. But thank you so much for watching. Again, leave in the comments whether or not you like this kind of review or the other review better. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.